Hi guys, this is Dr. Khan. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, hope, um, hope this reaches you on all levels of positivity. Okay, so today I'm going to be speaking about something extremely important. Um, it's about a cycle of violence that occurs in homogenous, um, homogenous cultures. What do I mean by homogenous cultures? I mean uh, Desi cultures, uh, African, Middle Eastern, Arab uh, cultures. What happens is that um, they are programmed in a particular way and there's a cycle that occurs that is passed down from a mother, um, a, husband, a, a father, and to their children and it continues and we need to become aware of it and stop the cycle. Okay, So um, let's begin, uh, there's going to be three aspects that I'm going to be speaking about. There's programming, number one, I'll be speaking about um, narcissistic versus codependent uh, tendencies and uh, third I'll be speaking about the actual cycle that occurs and how to stop it. So let's start out with programming. Okay, So programming uh, means uh, as soon as we're born, this applies to everyone, as soon as we're born we are programmed by society, by the environment, by the shows that we watch, by our parents, by our extended family, by the music that we listen to or that was playing in the background. So we were programmed how to think, how to be, and how to feel, okay? How to react. Uh, our goal in life is to reach our authentic self again. Peel those layers off, peel it, peel it, peel it, and go back to our authentic selves so we can fulfill our divine purpose of what God created us to be and do in our lives, right? To go out there and make a difference or whatever it may be. Um, so desis particularly um, have been programmed um, in a certain way. Desis meaning, um, excuse me, I mean the homogenous cultures. So it's not just particularly desis, but those other cultures that I talked about. Um, so basically, um, firstly, we were programmed to, um, we must keep everyone happy. We cannot get anyone angry. You cannot cause shame to the family by expressing yourself or talking a certain way. Um, you must be that good girl or good wife or good daughter-in-law. Um, you need to work like a slave um, in order to be um, to find worth um, and, and 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 do your role as a mother. Complete your role as a mother. Suppress all your anger. So those were um, certain programmings that we were brainwashed early in in our in our life. We were programmed to not trust what we feel program not to not trust what we think, and so on. Now I want to um, talk about what this cycle is. So this is our programming. Um, now, how do we, what is the cycle that happens in these homogenous cultures? This is what happens, okay? So um, it starts out with the, the codependency and the narcissism, narcissistic uh, behavior within the family. So what is codependency and what is narcissistic behavior? And where does it stem from? Okay, let's understand that. Okay, and then move on to the cycle. So codependency um, is the tendency to find your self-worth outside of yourself. Basically, you are always seeking um, validation from the world, whether by people, whether, by de by, whether it be by degrees, but you're al always seeking uh, worth outside of yourself so you're always doing something for somebody you're you just you don't know how you feel what you what your wants are what your needs are and um, the reason being is because you weren't validated as a girl or as a, as a child you weren't validated um, your parents didn't see you because they were just too busy they were too busy um, growing up themselves or fulfilling the um, the duties that they were programmed to program programmed to believe they have they had to do um, so you were never noticed you were never seen so now you're this this being this um, being that's out there just seeking validation because you never got that hug from your mom or you never received that love from your from your dad so you're always looking outside yourself just to feel feel you know just to just to feel some worth um, narcissism. Narcissistic behavior um, includes um, 
it, very e uh, individuals who have very who are very egoistic. Um, they are cut off from pain. They can't see you. So um, a lot of codependent um, individuals are are attracted to narcissistic individuals because who because of because they just kind of play off of each other, right? Um, so let's move on to um, the homogenous cultures. What happens? So please stay with me because this is extremely important. Now, as I said, the mother or in the home was programmed to, uh, there's two things. There's programming and then there's that codependency going on. So she's programmed to just give, give, give. Um, her feelings don't matter and she just has to give, give, give. Right? That's her programming. That she needs to be the good daughter and the good wife and the good daughter-in-law. So that's what she goes into to her home and this is how she lives her life. Not taking care of herself. There's no self-care. She's just out there doing and doing and doing and doing. There's two, la two levels to this. She's programmed, but in addition, she's also codependent, right? So she's taught to be codependent. And why does this happen? Because when she was younger, she saw her mother doing the same thing, right? Giving, 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 taking care of the in-laws and doing her part and doing her part, not taking her care of herself, not um, feeling her, her not um, expressing her wants. So there's that lack of validation. She never got that validation from her mother. So when, what ends up happening is this is the cycle. There's a mother, right? She's too busy because of her programming and her codependency that she is busy taking care of her in-laws, her sister-in-law, her mother-in-law, her father-in-law. She's busy taking care of the home. She's um, trying to put out fires um, or the tantrums of her husband. Because now this husband is um, shows narcissistic behavior, has tendencies of narcissistic behavior, or has narcissism, because he never received the love and the care from his parents. The mother was probably codependent, and the father was probably very angry because he never received the love. So either he went, you can be good. because you didn't receive the validation that you needed, or if you grew up in very um, abusive homes, either you become very codependent because you weren't seen, or you go to this route where you're, you become narcissistic and have narcissistic tendencies. So what ends up happening is the mother, I mean the codependent, continues this cycle and then the daughter sees this, sees this and becomes codependent herself. The narcissistic um, father is angry all the time and the mother's putting out the fire and the son sees this. And he's cut off from pain because if he's he's giving anger and he's given um, uh, not given not given love and approval and validation, he's going to get cut off from his feelings. So, do you see the cycle? Mother too busy taking care of her in-laws and her husband. The children are in the background, trying not to rock the boat, trying not to feel, just doing what they need to do. The father is angry, he doesn't see his children, he reacts, he's angry. So the mother's in the room every day trying to console him, right? Children are totally ignored, totally ignored, not validated, and the cycle continues. The cycle continues. The homogenous cycle of violence continues. So, what do we do? How do we stop this? It's quite sad. It really is. But, you know, it's, it needs to be talked about because you, you see in the, in the news, you see um, daughter-in-laws being abused on, on, a, on a, such a big scale. And even till this day, this day, like with all this new information and new technology and and education it still happens because we're so programmed and we think that we should just take the pain and take the pain and take the pain that our feelings don't matter it doesn't matter so what I wanted to say basically is this that mom and dads you need to stop this mom and dads you need to stop this 
Moms, you need to start taking care of yourself and learn what codependency is. Dads, you need to stop. Homogenous dads, you know, out there, you need to stop and start reflecting and think about how you're affecting your kids and grow up. You need to stop and validate your kids. You wanted to have your kids. You gave birth to them. So it's your responsibility to grow up. Get deprogrammed, guys. Get deprogrammed. You need to stop and get deprogrammed and stop this cycle. This cycle needs to stop. Women out there, you are not slaves. Muslim women out there, you're not slaves. You're not. You're not. You need to take care of yourself. You know, you have to go back deeper into your life, in your life, and understand why is it that you seek constant validation and self-worth from other people, husband and, and, and mother-in-law and so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so, and you never stop, you never stop. And then you get sick, you get sick. And this is what your daughters and your sons learn. This is what your daughters and sons learn. Your sons learn how to treat their wives like that. And your daughters learn that they shouldn't have any feelings and their, and their worth doesn't matter. Because moms, you're too busy putting out fires with your husband um, and you're too busy with your in-laws. You don't see your children. They're in the background. You don't see them. You don't see them. Some of them might be getting molested. The same. It's common. No one talks about it, but it's common. Um, because you're too busy. You can't see. Your husband can't see, and you can't see. So this cycle continues. So again, we need to get deprogrammed, number one, right? We need to really stop and think about how we've been programmed. What has our society, our environment, our culture taught us? What did they teach us to be like? How? All the negative deprogramming needs to stop. Secondly, you need to understand what codependency is and what narcissism is and how if, if that is what your family dynamic is. And most likely it is because your programming leads to that codependency and narcissistic behavior between the husband and the wife. And then it's handed down to our kids because now they're not getting the attention and the validation. So then there's your daughter becoming codependent and there's your son becoming narcissistic because there's so much, so much dysfunction in the family. So he starts cutting himself from the pain or vice versa, versa. So you guys really, really, really need to stop and think about what effect this is having on our, on our, on our society, society on a whole level. I'll be speaking more about this in detail and in little parts, but this was just an introduction to what this cycle involves. Alrighty guys, um, peace and love and health to you guys and lots and lots of blessings. Take care. Bye.